Let's go. <laughs> we can be heroes everywhere we go. We can have all that we ever want. Make it like Ali, rocking our bodies, and then our top like a champion. Keep it on silver. First Clemenza took it over, now you. My father taught me many things here. He taught me in this room. He taught me, keep your friends close, but your enemies close. and welcome to Backstage Business from the Entrepreneurs Network. And we are indeed in ENHQ. Here they are, here's the gang. Look, 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 come see. This is our head of HR. There he is. Head of HR. There he is. Have you got any problems? We've got anyone that we should be talking about today. No, he doesn't care, doesn't want to know. Uh, Davina's over there. She's wearing a 10 year old jacket today. Um, and she's managing all the food. She loves the food, Davina, so she's managing all the food. Ed Pearson over here, Mark Creasa, locked in a deep conversation. Kerry, head of finance, look at that tip tip paying away on the management accounts and the bookkeeping, very important for your business. Uh, and we're going to have a really good day, we're going to have some strategy days, we're going to finish off and get the, uh, Mark and I are going to go over the experience business, um, which is the new book that's coming out, so I just want to put the final dot the I's and cross the T's of that one, Tubbington. Dot the I's and cross the T's. There's a there's a tea. We're getting in the car and we're going up to the big city in London tonight. We're going to have dinner with uh, the London leg of our group coaching program, Accelerator, which I'm really looking forward to. And the rest of the gang will be here soon and we'll get them on video as well. Enjoy your day, enjoy your day, enjoy your day. Go! Now, when you start a business, everyone wears multiple hats. So, and I get that. So when I started my business, I was the head of sales, I was the head of operations, I was the head of accounts, I was the bloody M managing director. I was the head of HR, right? I've done everything because that's what a small business does. But then quickly, as, as I was growing, I was giving away the hat. So the first hat that I gave away, which I couldn't wait to give away, was bookkeeping and administration. Gone. You need to start clearly defining your roles. Now, what happens is when people mix over and do multiple roles, it's hard to hold people accountable. Very, very hard to hold people accountable. So now let's look at a big business. So. If you've got the FD and he's not doing his job properly, but he's also the head of sales and also the head of marketing, oh, so I couldn't do the accounts this month because oh, I had to go over and jump into marketing. I was on the phones, getting the sales in, I had to do some administration, and then I had to do some operations. No longer can you hold the FD accountable because he's doing multiple jobs. You know, as a family, you've got to sit down and say, hey guys, we really want this to work. Number one, we're going to start with the end in mind. What does the business look like when it's finished? What do we want to build? This is absolutely crucial. And I suggest that if you're not doing anything this afternoon, you go and get yourself a pub lunch after you sat with me, or a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and you sit there and say, right gang, what is it that we want to build? Let's start with the end in mind. What does our business look like in a decade? How much money does it turn? How much money does it make? What does the team look like? What do our vans look like? What does our ideal customers look like? What are our revenue streams? What percentage is commercial? What percentage is residential? And you're going to work all this stuff out and you're going to write a business plan which is going to be more words than numbers. This is going to be your vision of what the business looks like when it's finished. Now, Running a marathon is a very hard thing to do, but you know what the finish is. Most business owners don't know where the finish is, so it's running a marathon that never ends. There's no middle at the end. Thank you very much, sir. Things happening over here. This guy over here, Mark Creaser, is our apprentice copywriter. He's our, he's our apprentice copywriter. I've just been teaching him a thing or two about structure and 
putting words together. So look at him standing up for attention right now. Arms crossed. Because you're just taking the piss out of me on video all day. Mark's been uh, going through the experience business, which is the new book that we're bringing out here at EM. And uh, Mark's very, very talented at polishing up stuff. So together we've been, well, he's been polishing up and Every now and so, then I've been diving in. Pearson, uh, over here, he's talking to members on this giant microphone. And uh, there's a big group membership thing. So we're doing this every Wednesday, are we, yeah. Davina? Let me just so find we, out what we're, we're doing from the, Davina. Uh, come, come, come. This, this is Davina. She's not membership guardian. She really basically runs the show. A little bit of free advertising for trial. She's going to be able to get a, a jacket that actually fits her that doesn't belong to Barbie. <laughs> so um, we're going to have a choice of two books to get <gasps> soon. We are. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And I've already, gang, already started working on book three, which is going to be even more That's work awesome. for Mark, so I'm really <laughs> looking forward to providing him. So we're going to get us an unmute in a minute. Oh, here we go. Laura! It's weird, he just doesn't like me, but, you know, I'll carry on. So Ed, Ed over there is speaking to members, no, and they're having a call in every week. Yeah, uh, every Wednesday, so anyone that's got quick questions can and, uh, get through those on the call with Ed. And, and they all and can hear scary. each other. Mm -hmm. So it's another thing we do for members, Ev, so if you want some, you know, uh, calls once a week, find out what other people are doing, what's really working, not on that, and questions, because, you know, that's what we do here. The network of the entrepreneurs, everyone know a bit about this stuff, someone knows a bit about that stuff, and then you fuse it together on a good call and we get things done. Power of the internet. That guy over there is Smithy, he's head of happiness. Make sure everyone is <laughs> he's, he's as happy as they can be. And then over here, look at it, Gary's doing the numbers, like the tapping away, curly whirly, like fudge and chomp, yeah, yeah, healthy no, living. I mean, how, how's your sugar diet going? I mean, really look, well. You're working hard at that, aren't you? <laughs> Do a zero drink. Zero drink stuff. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, I mean, look at this, look, look. You, you I can that. see the remnants of a croissant there as well. So everything's going really well. Maximum so sugar, no greens ones. in this diet. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we've been doing today, each other. So guys, we're getting ready to do our audio coaching session um, for EM members. So if you're an Entrepreneurs Network member, uh, the gang get round uh, over here. You're going to be on this one, Shudders. First time for you, which uh, I'm very excited about because there's something about video, which I think uh, we're going to be coming on to later, which um, I think you'll be really good to comment on. Uh, and this we send out to our members uh, so they can, you know, really find out, you know, our thoughts and beliefs and we, we try and reference members in there and talk about what they're doing really well i lead the show these guys comment uh, it's a really good thing to do and that's what we're going to be doing today chuddlington that's what we're going to be doing So here we are, gang. It's uh, wrapping up another episode. Shut us another episode of Backstage Business. Had a great day today. We got the final edit of uh, Backstage, um, the Experience Business, which is our new book that's coming out. We sent that off to publishers. Mark, help me with that. There's Mark. Get him in. Get him in. There he is. Ed Pearson, Mr. Scrove Advisor, helping our members be fantastic. I've just been in the Lego shop. I bricked it in there. It was terrible. And now we're going. Now we're going. <laughs> Well, I don't find that funny, but I think that's funny. <laughs> and now we're going to dinner with some accelerator members part of our group coaching program. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Have you made up your mind yet? Well,